welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics okay so students today we are going to solve a very very important topic that is nothing but simplifying numbers when which are associated with fractions or simplifying these kind of mixed fractions okay trust me it is super simple after le learning this particular trick you will never ever go wrong in all of these kind of operations Okay, so the question over here is 3 plus 5 by 6. If I tell you when you have something like this, when a number is getting added to a proper fraction, okay, please understand, stick to the whole video because I'm going to tell you a lot of or rather a couple of uh, scenarios where you might have to do a one more step and then you should get to your point or then you should use your trick, okay. So the question over here is 3 plus 5 by 6. It's very simple. You can directly write 3, 5 by 6. You just have to ignore the plus sign. Now, if you are if you have doubts, let's do this on our own. So, what you do this over here is, you take an LCM. So, 6 into 3 is 18. 18 plus 5 will get you what? 23. Now, that divide by 6. That is 3 is 18. You are left with 5. And if you see, your remainder becomes your numerator. Your divisor becomes your denominator. And 3 is your quotient right so you saw how easy this entire thing became now like i said there is a catch or rather there is one thing you need to remember that the number or rather the fraction which is getting added has to has to always be a proper one if you don't have a proper fraction you can simply write this as nothing but you can convert it into a mixed form so which is one one upon three so now what you have to do in this case is two plus we can directly add the number why because this can be written as 1 plus 1 upon 3 right see please understand if the mixed form can be written without the plus sign then the mixed form can also be written with the plus sign correct so i can directly add this as nothing but what 3 plus 1 upon 3 and this is what a number getting added to a proper fraction so i can directly ignore the plus sign and this is my answer Okay, students, if you're liking the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, also very important, please remember that at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY question and the answer to this question, you will put in the comment section and I'll let you know whether you are right or wrong. Okay, so now for the negative, when you're subtracting, what you have to do is very simple. You have to subtract this number or the integer part by 1. So, your answer will have 12. And your denominator will remain 5. The numerator will be nothing but what? 5 minus 4 which is 1. Okay. If you have doubts, let's do this on our own. So, we have 65 minus 4 which is what? 61. 61 divided by 5. And we know 5 into 12 gets you 60. So we are left with 1 and 1 became your numerator, 5 is your denominator and 12 which is your quotient becomes your integer. So I hope now you are understanding how easy this entire thing is. Now when it comes to subtraction, lot of people un don't understand what to do when it is 1 minus the number, 1 minus the fraction. Then in that case you don't have to reduce this, you just have to ignore this and take the difference. So difference is 1, 4 minus 5 is again 1 and 1 upon 5. So, the answer to this one is just 1 upon 5. Okay. Now, before beginning with this very complicated kind of question, I will just do one more. So, if we have 12 minus 5 and 2 upon 9, please understand this can be written as, so here we have minus 5 plus 2 upon 9. Please remember. We will have a minus sign outside and this mixed fraction will always be written as 5 plus 2 upon 9. Okay, so then this will be minus 5 minus 2 upon 9. Why am I saying this is because this is going to be helpful when it comes to solving these kind of questions where there is a minus sign involved. Okay, so this will be now what 7 and 2. 9 minus 2 is going to get you 7 upon 9. So that is your answer. So now coming to this one, over here, since there is less of space, let's do this over here. We'll first write all of these integers first, okay? So we have 5 plus 3 minus 7 plus 4 plus, and let's write this in brackets, we have 1 upon 6 plus 3 upon 4. 
Now please understand there is a fraction which has a negative sign. And we understood when we have a negative mixed fraction, the sign associated with the fraction over here also becomes negative. So this will be minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3. Okay, so now 5 plus 3 is 8, minus 7 is 1. Plus 4 is going to get you 5 plus. Now this year, what should be your LCM? Your LCM should be. 12 because that is a number which is coming in each of these num tables so this will get multiplied by 2 and this will also get multiplied by 2 make it 12 okay so this is 2 this will get multiplied by 3 to make it 12 here also I'm multiplying by 3 okay so we have 9 this will get multiplied by 6 so here also it will get multiplied by 6 so minus 6 plus this will multiply by 4 so here also it will get multiplied by 4 plus 4 so we have 5 plus 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 minus 6 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. So we have 9 upon 12. So your answer for this one is 5, 9 upon 12. Okay. So now for this one here, what you should do directly, you should do what? Add or subtract the numbers, whatever the signs are. And we'll add, now this we have 1 upon 5 minus 7, 7 upon 8 uh, plus 3 upon 10 plus 1 upon 4, okay. So now we have 2 minus 3 is minus 1 plus 5, plus 6 is plus 5, plus 2 is plus 7. So we have plus, now the LCM over here should be 80, uh, sorry, 40. Because that is the number which is coming in each of these tables. So this will get multiplied by 8. So this will also get multiplied by 8. This will get multiplied by 5. So this will also get multiplied by 5. This will get multiplied by 4. This will also get multiplied by 4. This is multiplying by 10. This will also get multiplied by 10. So we have 1 into 8 which is 8. Minus 7 into 5 which is 35. Plus 3 into 4 which is 12 plus 1 into 10 which is 10 okay so now this is a very special scenario okay why because here the answer for the numerator is coming out to be minus 5 upon 40 so here if you see this is what 2 8 and 10 12 is 20 plus 10 is going to get you 30 so th minus 35 plus 10 30 is going to get you minus 5 so now in this case please understand you cannot write your answers in a negative fraction okay so in that case, what we can do is we can split this. We can write this 6 plus 1 minus 5 upon 40. So we know that 1 minus 40, 5 upon 40. Let's try, try to solve this first. So we know that whenever you have something like this, we can directly take the difference. So we have 6 plus 35 upon 40. So your final answer will be 6 35 upon 40. So I hope you understood this particular uh, trick and this particular scenario as well. This is the only scenario where people get stuck. So I've covered that as well. So please go ahead and do like and share these kind of videos to your friends as well. So now time for your DIY. The question is 3, 7 upon 8 minus 2, 5 by 6. Do let me know your answers in the comment section okay so there was one more sorry four plus four on upon three okay so do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for now i will see you in the next video